Hello and welcome to Bell Curve Gaming. Today we're continuing with our Griffland run and it's time for day three. Now our first day, two days have been pretty successful. So um, yeah, we're going along really, really well. We're back to max health and max resolve because we finished the day and we didn't have any new loved ones on day two, but we didn't get any new hated people either. So we're pretty happy with how our decks are starting to shape up. Um, I need a lot of, do a lot of work on our battle deck still, but the negotiation decks really starting to come along. So when you wake up, you'd almost think the grog is beginning to look homey if you hadn't almost been murdered in it. Oh yeah, so last night um, we had an assassin that we had to wake up to, so, well, that was in our room. So you find Fish behind the bar, rigging the bar top to snap with electricity. She turns off the current as you approach. You know customers drink at this bar, right? Customers ain't got nothing to worry about. But no more assassins on my watch, that's a guarantee. This will take a while to set up, so why don't you go bother Nadan? See what, he's, uh, what you can get closer to Casio. See what you can do to get closer to Casio. That makes sense now. <laughs> I'll have a job for you later if you're interested. All right, let's go. So we'll go to Nadan. Well, Nadan, what extra extra legal shenanigans do you want me to get up to today? Don't you know? <laughs> don't know if I appreciate you making light of the work we do here. But as long as you get the job done, I guess I can't complain. I've got two jobs to, for you today. Pick the one where you'd think you'd be most effective. So we can go to Wounded Animals, uh, which is a battle focus. Uh, so this person likes us. So the spree used hit and run tactics to devastate an admiralty patrol. The survivors are stranded in the field and waiting for backup. Uh, get there first and finish them off. So we get a grant from, uh, sorry, a uh, graph from random draw, no matter what we do here. So battle, so this one gives us 213, this one gives us 244. Why would I pick this one rather than this one? Prisoner exchange, the spree has captured a pr prisoner. The admirality is willing to exchange prisoners if you can get them to, uh, get them to the exchange location in one piece. Well, I'm clearly going to pick this one. I don't know why you'd pick the other one. <laughs> Not 100% sure. But, let's go here. Mission received. I'll see that the job gets done. Alright, let's go to the job. To the wounded animals. We find a patrol uh, right where expected. As you approach, the bedraggled survivors reach for their weapons. Who goes there? Pent's eyes dart about, looking for threats. You're about to pull out your best fast talk when all of a sudden Pent's attention locks onto you. I don't know you. Attack! Apparently I've got to defend myself against these guys and this is going to be quite the attack. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yep. Uh, okay, at least they're wounded. I'll, I'll say that much. A status effect will be applied by promoted goon pent. So this guy's clearly the leader. Do we go after the leader or do we go after the weak? I think we go after the leader, right? 27 more damage, 24 more damage, 18 more damage. So we could go after this guy. Formation. At the end of goon's Ellie's turn, apply 10 defense to all allies. Formation is removed when health is lost. And regained at the end of Goon Ellie's turn. Okay, this is where bleeds are really, really useful. So they're all wanted dead. Gains three power after an attack damages a target. So who's attacking who here? You're attacking my dog. You're attacking me. Uh, discard any number of cards, heal three per card. Plus seven defense, what are we doing here? I think we go after the leader, don't we? Oh, 
Or do we just get one of them down? Let's go after the leader. Nah, let's try and get one of them down. Stuff it. We'll go this way. Draw three, gain two counter. Or we can apply seven defense and protect all the damage that's coming in. I think we'll draw three and apply. It's probably the worst way to do it. I probably should have done that first. There's one of the two counter to hit him. 16, wow, 10. See, this is a problem. It's where we need things like... Hmm. So you're taking 7 damage here. I want to see if I can get this thing gone. So it needs 9 more damage. Improvise. So it's one, two, three, so yeah, all right. So we're gonna improvise, see what this is. Discard two cards, gain one temporary power. Improvise a card from your draw pile, gain three defense. If it's a wound maneuver, apply one wound to a random enemy in the attack. Discard your hand, draw five cards. Oh, this is terrible. This is actually terrible. Alright, we're gonna zigzag. Bleed's what we're really looking for here. Or wound. Wound is also good. Possibly should have got something with combo actually. It's going to cost one to use though, which is fine. Ah, right, we'll attack here. Why did that come back into me? Attack here. And then we'll attack here. Alright, well that was useful. Got rid of one of them. We evaded him, fantastic. Formation defends, so now it's got 10 again. We gain 3 temporary power. Remove all debuffs and expend all status cards in your hand and draw pile. At least it's got replenish on this one. This is where we can get bleed. Got some draw cards. Feel like using this now is not good. Maybe it is stuff. I going to apply five bleed to you. Gonna hit for six and draw a card. Gonna hit for eight, because we can. And we're gonna hit for another seven. Take a bit of damage there. All right, so he's got 16, well essentially he's got 13 health. Gonna fight dirty. Who's who are you taking damage from? This guy. I don't think I can get him, that's the problem. Fly to bleed. So this will destroy it if I decide to do this. The stuff it will use it. Ah, uh, well. Oh, he's that. Yeah, so he's not attacking this turn anyway. So that was worth it. It's definitely worth it. Alright, so I am going to kill him off. Oh, Haymaker is absolutely amazing here.
Buys a card from your draw pile, gain three defense. We're gonna go and start attacking him. Just a minute. And Haymaker. Alright, so that's him dealt with. Not that we can use any of this. Alright, I'm gonna kill them both. Die. <laughs> so Zeta hates me. Oops, my bad. <laughs> Kill with the friend Dak. So, incurred his fury. Allies have at least 10% less max health in battle. Oh, I have 10%. Alright, I need to find you so I can kill you. A weir hates you because I killed your friend Prent. Allies have 10%. Are you serious? I'm gonna have 20% less health in battle, like my allies are. Um, all diplomacy cards deal maximum damage. Um, destroy after one use. Gain through influence, destroy after one use. So, Haymaker, now, oh, quick strap. Oh, I don't get as many um, upgrade options. Oh, well. So it looks like we're just gaining two combo. Uh, looks like we are getting two defense and two counter. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, so we can get another tackle. Keep in mind, I get a bonus action, don't I? Gain one action at the start of your turn. Battle card upgrades now have one for your option. Yeah, so draw cards are really good. Gain two defense. How many draw cards do I have in my battle deck? Uh, well, that's not a permanent draw. Draw a card. Um, I've got a couple of those already, so I don't want more draw. Gain two defense, increase by two for each card played this turn. This could be good. So I could tackle. I want to be more aggressive, so let's go tackle. No, he's a killer. While this is in your hand, gain one dominance, unplayable, replenish. Hmm. I love it how I'm like a diplomatic killer. <laughs> that's, that's the run that I'm going through right now. We're just a diplomatic killer. Um, and a known thug. I need to start removing some of these cards, to be honest. Because that's useless and it's going to clog up my deck. So getting things to remove cards isn't necessarily a bad thing. Alright. I'm going to get paid. The survivors are no longer survivors. Because I killed them. <laughs> I love that. I actually love that. <laughs> the survivors are no longer survivors. Because I killed them. Good. This will send a message. The spree means business. Got 244 gills and a graft. All right, so they're all battle graphs. Do I have battle graphs? Lot. Oops, where's my graphs? No, I do not. So this has to be better than my current. Gain 10 max health. No. When you improvise a maneuver card. No. When you uh, break defense with an attack, apply two bleed and gain four defense. Mm, no. Decline. We'll just take the money. Uh, yeah, I don't want to ask about these guys. Hey, you hate me. <laughs> so, here's the thing I love about this, right? I didn't even look how much. Oh, I should have actually looked at how much. <laughs> Alright, this should be interesting. I should have looked at this before I went up. So, you can, like, provoke these people. So, then they'll attack you. And if they attack you, then you can then kill them. So, they no longer hate you. Because they can't hate you when they're dead. So, <laughs> that's what we went for here. Um, so he's got a drunk, so when destroyed, remove a random intent from Prevect. So we're going to remove one of these randomly. He's attacking my pet. Um, we have nothing just at the moment, so we're going to have to just draw three cards. This is what I'm talking about by clogging up your deck. It can be really bad. Do I have something that 
destroys every time. At the start of your turn, reduce the cost of red and card in your hand by one. Gain two composure whenever an argument is destroyed. Uh, duplicate the first argument that we make. And targets an opponent argument each turn for 2-2 two, two damage. Why did that kill that? What do I have that kills that? Oh, well, I shouldn't complain, should I? Uh, I've got double influence now as well. So we could buy some time here, get some extra turns, but I'm, I'm not going to be able to use them, so there's no point. I think we should apply Composure and save this. And then we should just insult him. I mean, apply more Composure because I can. Why not? Oh, did they use all of my... Oh, whoops, that was my bad. That was my bad. Ah, well. We'll get more influence later on. I mean, I'm in a pretty good spot here. It's got three turns for another argument comes. It's doing six damage to my face. So, that's not much. Uh, so, what we'll do is we'll go and get ourselves some more influence. And then we'll play this down because this is gold. Uh, we could spend two more influence. But then, oh, we could gain influence back. Yeah, actually, we will. We'll spend our influence. We'll gain influence back. And then we'll hit face. Like that. Beautiful. Look at my arguments building up already. She's starting to get insane. Gonna apply six composure here. So we need two more composure. So we're gonna draw a card first. Gain two influence, apply three composure to it. All right, so we lose this. We can't defend it, unfortunately. Ah, well, it is what it is. So we'll just attack it. And then attack it. So apparently we're becoming more hostile. It's down to eight already. I mean, we don't really care. We've probably got lethal. We'll just gain an influence. Uh, we'll hit five to nine. Done. All right, that was easy. Now we just need to defend ourselves. <laughs> and you can see here we're isolated, so it means that we can get away with murder. So reducing my, you know, pet's health by, well, my ally's health by 10%. This is what you get for doing something like that. We're going to draw a card first, see what this gets. He's attacking me. We've got no way to actually defend at the minute, so we're just going to do this. So we're going to take a bit of damage. I'm going to play this because I just want to get it leveled eventually. This will heal us a bit. I mean, he's just applying, so we're going to heal up. No attack with this. I know I could hit more damage, but I can also heal up a bit more, which we'll do. And you can see here that pretty much got this already. I mean, he's dead. So, tackle, hopefully, tackle doesn't kill him. Oh, it hits five to seven. I want to get this leveled, so I'm going to play this instead. New battle card, makeshift dagger, pick a battle card. We get dagger storm, which is really good because it gives us um, light piercing. And piercing is really good because it ignores any um, damage that's blocked by defense. This can get us more combo. Or we could gain combat. Nah, that's... The problem is, this costs two to do it. This only costs one. I think we'll do it this way. Alright. Well, that's dealt with him. 
So you can now see when we look at our relationships. We've already killed 10 people. Wow. We are brutal. But we've got one less person that hates us, all right? Don't hate us. Now, I need to hunt down Zeta because you're reducing my max health of my allies. And I need to hunt down... Oh, what did I kill? Who did I kill? Who did I just kill? Was it Ellie? And I've received a social bane from them. Was it this person? Enemy spree, join battle with less panic. It might have been that, actually. I reckon it was that. Yeah. Oh, well, we're not going to have... Um, they're going to have more panic again. I need to find these guys. <laughs> Alright, so if I don't go to this, I'll lose this. Two random cards in hand cost zero until played. Or we can go to this one. Your friend Derno has found a juicy target to rob. I think I feel like robbing a target instead, so that's what we'll do. So, you want work? A little birdie told me that a nice fat target is headed this way, with enough shields to line both of our pockets. Better still, apparently the idiot cheaped out on guards. Sounds like easy pickings. Why loot me in? Uh, because you're my pal? What kind of question is that? Besides, you got away with words, and if it comes to blows, you got away with knives too. What do you say? Agree to the plan. <laughs> I love mixing business with pleasure. Right, I'll follow your lead. Dono makes for the shadows the edge of the quirky follow. The target doesn't look too rich, though despite what Dono said, she's nothing more than bedraggled. All the same, you step onto the path once you uh, have her where you want her. Hold it, friend. What? What is this? So we can either convince her to give up her money and she'll dislike us. We can attack her and she'll hate us. Ah, right, we'll, we'll just convince you to give up the money. I should have looked up what those were. Beautiful. So I'm getting dominance at the start of my turns at the minute. So this is really good. And this is how we're going to start. Because it gives us two of these as well, which is fantastic. We could play... Oh, we need influence first. Oh, we could get influence here. But we don't have... Mm, So then I'm going to apply the composure here. That feels fine. Alright, that's what we'll do. We don't get the influence doing it this way. But it also protects that. And that is very useful for us. So, my target opponent argument... Oh, it targets each turn for 3 damage. And 4 damage is coming in as well. So I hit that and that's gone. We need to improvise a card, see what this is first. I'm actually going to use this to hit here. Alright. So you can now see, I just get composure anytime that I play one of these um, diplomacy, diplomacy cards. I don't need to play this at the moment. I want to keep my influence. We take one damage, I get that. But I'm okay with that. Alright, so we've got this that's dealing 3 damage. We've got this where he's intimidated, so hostility cards deal an additional 2 damage. And this can draw a card, so that's what we'll do. Fantastic. We'll start here. And we'll boost the threaten. Oh, we don't have anything really playful. I'm going to play this just to boost it. Oh, every card I draw deals one. That's what it was. So something's... <laughs> something's actually... Um, I don't know what I've got that's dealing damage every time I draw a card. That's insane. That's alright. I'm fine with that. So he's got six defense here. 
He's hitting this for four, but I can take that. He's hitting me for three. I can't do anything at the moment because of these intimidates, which is unfortunate. So I guess that's all I do. Alright, so we can spend two influence here, or we could just destroy him. Boom. <laughs> there we go. In fact, I should have actually been trying to level cards before I did that. Ah, uh, hang on. I don't want a low blow. Do I apply two composure to a random argument? Increase one. Gain three smarts and one vulnerability. I don't want to do that. So smarts, gain an extra action at the start of your turn, then reduce smarts by one. I mean, this could be good. Maybe we'll do this. Alright. Take your fair share, receive 160 gills. Take a small share and he'll love me. Demand all of it and he'll hate me. I'm nearly thinking of just getting a small share so he loves me. Awesome, so he now loves me. What do I get for that? So an allied bandits have to plus 10 health in battle. Alright, so if we're going to find those people that are reducing my allies' health, that'll be really good. Okay, so we can go to a four-star negotiation. I feel like I'm pretty confident doing that. So upgrade a negotiation or battle card. Pick a graph from a random draw. Am I out of graphs yet? Uh, I could get a... Yeah, you're right. We'll go for the graft. Alright, what do you want? In the grand scheme of things, Ton does pretty well for himself. On the day-to-day, -day, though, he usually comes up short. Hail to Garft. Summoning. It'll work for me. Can you believe this? I have to deliver a summons to Haikyuu. A summons! I join the Admiralty crackheads and take names, not to serve paperwork. You look like um, you could use a couple shields though. Ton needs you to deliver the Admiralty summons to Haikyuu. She isn't going to take it willingly. Alright, so it's a four star negotiation, but I'm feeling pretty good about my negotiation deck at the minute. We've got a random, so a weir stops us. You, you're the one who killed my friend, Prent. I demand satisfaction. Convince her to leave me alone? No. Defend myself. Does that mean I kick it to kill her? So a weir, I'm assuming, hates me. Is that right? Let's have a look. View relationships. Yeah. And you're lowering... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You die now. Hopefully. Hopefully you die. I'm not feeling as confident about my battle deck. I've only got 44 health as well. Uh, so I'm taking 6 damage from you. I don't do this. So I can defend myself. No attack here and put bleed onto you. Gonna attack and draw a card. Gonna put wound on you. And then I'm gonna defend. So you got three power, he's now got ten defense, which is really bad. I feel like this is a good time to play this. We'll attack here. Yeah. 
16 again. Maybe I should have been targeting him. So I'm taking 9. We'll make him bleed. And apply some defense. Oh, I didn't realize I had one more. Oops. We'll play this just so I can get it more leveled. Gotta remember, I'm getting four actions per turn at the minute. So we'll go back to 16. No, he's on 10. Go here. Should probably improvise first, just so I know what I've got coming. We'll draw a card. Ah, oh, we've actually got him down to surrender state, so... Ah, oh, well, we'll just keep attacking, as I can. Life or defense to you. You are dying, by the way. Alright, so now we're gonna go after this guy. Who is just applying buffs. That's fine. Apply to bleed. And we'll... Kind of just want to play this just to start leveling that card. He dies, that's great. You're actually going to attack, so you're attacking my dog this time. Oh, this is great. Start with a wound. So how much do I need to hit 33? I'm not going to be able to hit 33, that's the only problem. So I'm going to apply some defense to you. And then Haymaker you. Alright, that's him done. And then execute him. Cool. So Zex now hates me. <laughs> All uh, enemy admirals will gain one power at the start of power uh, battle. That's annoying. Uni hates me. Members of the Admiralty will not help you in battle or negotiation. So I think I've clearly made myself an enemy of the Admiralty. Admirality Intel, gain through influence, destroy after one use. Oops, I didn't even look at what that one was. Alright, so we're applying six defense now. Draw two cards, gain combo equal to their combined cost. Apply plus two. Hmm. Might grab rummage. Alright, go on the summoning. Got a lot of people that hate me now. <laughs> Haki's camp is small, but she isn't alone when you arrive. The voice Does settles as you approach. Quiet, Does someone's coming. Hey, are you? You're not Admirality, right? I'm pretty sure the whole of Admirality hate me now. Except for, haven't I got like someone of the Admirality that loves me? Yeah. <laughs> Gal loves me. That's hilarious. Oh well. Do I look like... You have to tell me uh, if I ask. Alright. Incept, one summons, target one game. Okay. So I've got to deliver the summons. On the turn that I kill her, don't I? Remove one stack, so Incept, one summons. Yeah, so I've got to put that in on the turn that I kill her. 
All right, so we're taking eight damage here. Is there any way that I can even slightly defend that? Don't know. Should I gain some influence? Oh, I've got two influence already. Gain two influence and apply three composure to it. Apply six composure. You've got four. So yeah, I can. By doing this. That's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to gain some influence. We could attack and gain influence. But I feel like I want to start leveling this, so that seems fine. And we're going to low blow. Oh yeah, we can also do this. We're nowhere near killing him yet, so we're going to have to wait on the summons. Alright, so we've got an escalation, so when a hostili uh, hostility card is played, increase stack by 1, gain 2 resolve. So we don't want to play hostilities, we do want to play air type this turn. Uh, there's no point spending any of that. We'll improvise a card, uh, we'll get some bait, that feels fine. So now all the damage is going here. Um, we're going to take some to the face, but I will. Oh, maybe not completely all to the face. Alright, so we can gain three composure. We've got 11 that's targeting here. Am I really targeting here, or am I going to get rid of this? Let's get rid of this. Oh, I played that the wrong way around. Oh well. Or played, like did the wrong thing. Gain three influence. These things are clogging up my hand. I'm gonna get rid of them because they're just so annoying. They really are annoying. They just clog up your hand. It's frustrating. So that doesn't protect it. We're gonna take a lot of damage here. So we've got a free draw three, which is fantastic. It's a lot of damage that's going here. Hmm. I think we just start going face. Um, stop it. The problem is, I just we need to draw a card. We can get more turns. We don't have any draw to do it, not do anything with it. Spend two of our influence and just protect all the damage incoming. Besides, I actually need. I need to be able to deploy that. This is actually a problem right now. In that I need to deploy... I can't do anything at the moment. I'm going to buy some time just to start upgrading that card. But I can't afford to kill this. How much influence do I have? Six. There's my summons. All right. <coughs> oh, that's what I was waiting for is the summons. 
So now we can deploy the summons. Uh, we should have lethal. Yeah, we do. Turn the turn. And there it is. Summons deployed. Alright, so airtight is upgraded. So we can either, whenever you play a diplomacy card, uh, add two arguments to it. So what does this gain? Airtight, when you play this diplomacy card, composure, airtight with an argument. Oh, it reduces its cost to two. Or we can do the ambush and have a cost three, but it's going to be guaranteed in the starting hand every single time. We'll grab it this way. Because I want it in the starting hand. Alright, so spend one influence, gain um, eight composure. We could spend two and gain 12. I think we'll go this way. Draw three cards, gain two composure. Draw four cards. I think we'll go this way. Although draw four was actually pretty good. Maybe, nah, draw four would have been better in this deck actually. I rushed that. Apply two composure to all my arguments. Lose one influence. I don't want any of them. All right, so this is Haikyuu. Pretty sure he hates me. Oh no, he just dislikes me. Don't know loves me. That's good. All right. So tell Don the summons have been delivered. We well, have time to beat someone else. So cool. We get 120. We get a graft. So we're only really, unless this is absolutely insane, start of each battle, discard up to two cards and draw that many new cards. Uh, chemical regulator. So when installed, upgrade three random negotiation cards. Mm. At the start of each negotiation, insert a conductor card into your hand that redirects enemies' intents. Force enemy, all enemies' intents and arguments to target a specific argument this turn. I actually don't want any of them. We're going to decline. We could gift 150 here and make him love us, which we're going to do. Alrighty, you know that. Wise investment, friend. Ah, uh, so we get an extra 5 health. Or oh, like our allies do. Which is good. So, spar with Gao to upgrade one of our battle cards. Yeah. Um, a rare lumen fissure has opened up in bedrock here, funny things happen. Um, when raw lumen vapors get on dry land. I think we're gonna go to this one. I don't really care about upgrading a battle card, that doesn't seem all that good. On the far side, spot a rare healing wart, grown fat of broad leaves and lumen's influence. Save tipsy. Eat until you can't eat anymore. Max health plus 10, take 15 HP damage. Oh, so we could go to 75, but we go to 39 HP knowing, knowing that we have a battle to go. I'm going to do this without risk. There's no reward. So that's good. All right, we'll go to the roadside market. You're the one who has the graphs, aren't you? So negotiation graph, you've got draw one extra card per turn. That's something I want. Um, whenever you, your damage spills over, apply to composure. Increase maximum damage of all cards by one. That's good, but I actually prefer this. Because when I upgrade this, that should be... Hmm. So drawing an extra card per turn is good. You can't not take that, I feel. The thing about graph slots, I can't afford to lose more HP. As much as I want more graph slots right now, I just can't afford to lose the HP. So we'll take this opportunity to train our pet, whichever one's that one. I remove a negotiation. That could be good. I'll come back to you. Do I not have the guy that... Where's the guy that trains my pet? I didn't kill him, did I? 
I need him to train my pet. Hopefully I didn't kill him. I mean, I've killed a lot of people. Was one of them the guy that trains my pet? <laughs> I'm sorry if it was. Can you please come back and train my pet? All right, well, we're gonna remove a negotiation card. Um, these yellow ones. So while this is the hand game on dominance, but I'm not a dominance deck, so I feel like that one's gonna go. Deal one resolve damage to a random enemy argument whenever you draw a card. So that one's really good, the fact that I'm drawing cards now. So draw a card, play it on a random target. Mm, this one I'm like meh about. Um, we're going to remove killer. Um, and that's all we're going to do. Apparently we can't repeat this. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We're okay with that. Do you have any cards I should be buying? Uh, duplicate one of your arguments at random. This can actually be good because I believe one of the upgrade opportunities of this is like you get to choose an argument. Yeah, and it could be absolutely insane. <laughs> or like you can duplicate one of the random and it doesn't expend anymore. Gain to influence and mm, this is actually pretty nuts. The next card played this turn is played twice. I'm actually going to buy this card. Because that's pretty insane. Um, my arguments are going to be unbelievable. We've got this. Apply 2 bleed per attack. Uh, no. I'm okay. Alright. Let's go back here. Fish looks worried, but you'd be worried too if your bar was smoking. Alright Fish, we have a problem. Some supplies I need to finish up this contraband apparently. Ah, oh, ah, contraband. <laughs> I see. This is going, um, I see where this is going, but I don't know how to stop you, stop it getting there. Anyway, we're going to the dock. So we're going to go and get some supplies from the dock. We can go and convince um, Bina to help us, so we'll ask her to help. Did she now? You're her employee, right? <laughs> this will be another one of those times. Alright, so we can convince her. Saying I've 40 resolve. And because there's certain someone that hates me. Or dislikes me. They're going to help here. So Zyder is sabotaging a negotiation. Increases Binder's damage by 1. So it's doing 5 to here. Um, hmm. I've got this in the start. So I can play it straight away. We lose our pet if we do. And I want to keep the pet because the pet's insane. We didn't duplicate one of our arguments. Ah, oh, I should have done that the other way around because I wanted one of these too. That was a misplay. Uh, improvise a card. We'll improvise. A boosted debate. Oh, I possibly should have attacked this, but I will. Alright, so if we want to see what's coming, we need to hit the cat out. And I honestly think that that's probably the smartest move. I just need to see what's coming before I do anything else. Oh, whoops, I didn't hit the cat. That moved. Ah, oh, well, well, it looks like I'm not doing anything. I'm going to play know it all because I can. Um, we're going to gain to influence. <laughs> Alright. We're going to hope that this isn't going to do too much damage. It's not so bad. We'll go straight through this. Do we have any draw? I feel like we don't need more time turns. We'll draw a card here. We're just going to go straight face. Just the minute. So you can take that. You're already taking that. We could apply this here. And target 
loses two resolve. Let's just target here. That seems fine. Wow, I need some draw. I actually desperately need draw. Wow, 16 damage is coming from that. I need to kill this if I can. Got it. Wow, that's incredibly lucky. <laughs> Um, I'll just put more influence over there, I guess. Ah, oh, we've coyote. We go here. Um, we'll just take the money. Ah, well, we've got someone to help us. You hate me, apparently. This is what happens when you hate me. Alright, so. We could play this first up. We don't have any more turns after this unless we play this, which is fine, we can. So yeah, we'll play this. We'll then spend two influence. We've got two of these, which is amazing. So I've just about blocked that damage already, which is really good because what we can now do, we'll gain some smarts while we're here. Get some more influence. This potentially goes down. In fact, it does go down, I think. Um, oh well. Here's what it is. Alright. Look how many arguments I've already got. It's actually insane. Alright, so we can remove composure from something if we want. What's this doing? Targeting for two to four damage, for three damage targeting over here. We've got a lack of draw at the minute. We can improvise a card. Draw three cards, get us more that we can do. We'll see what this does first. Didn't quite high roll enough, but that's alright. Because we can now kill it and gain influence. But keep in mind I don't have anything protecting that just the minute. But that's alright, this might protect it. There's a chance. No, nope, it doesn't. It's unfortunate. We could buy time here. What am I really doing with that buying of time? I think we just apply composure and be done with it. Oh, make a solid point. Deal one damage. Alright, so we'll draw a card to start. Get some dominance. Apparently we're only using this from here on. Uh, let's gain some influence first. Duplicate one of our arguments because we can. Uh, gain three composure because we can. Then we'll run. We'll just continue gaining influence at the minute. We don't need to gain any more composure. Let's 
Yeah, our negotiation deck is getting pretty insane. Um, do we really need to target this? I mean, I will anyway, why not? Um, oh, we didn't high roll. <laughs> oh well. So we lose this, we take a bit of damage. Oh, we take one damage, I think. Oh, the, uh, we finished him off. Doesn't matter. So now we defend ourselves and we get rid of this guy. Does that a five star? Did I just see that correct? Or was it four star? I don't know. I could be in a lot of trouble here. I'm taking 11 damage, so I need to like... Hmm. I need to defend. That's the first thing, so let's defend. Draw three, grain two counters. I need more defense. Game four defense. There we go. That works for me. We could haymaker, but I feel like that's not gonna do much. We'll get him bleeding first. So guard <laughs> he'll always attack sound no matter what. Alright. I mean, Rummage isn't doing anything here, but it's leveling it, so that's the reason why we'll do it. Um, get rid of that. That's fine. Alright, so we don't have anything incoming. So what we'll do is we'll play this. I kind of want to play this just to get it leveled. I'm going to do that just to get it leveled. I know I've got no damage incoming, but I just want it leveled. Wow. He's nearly <laughs> dead already. Alright, so we're taking 9 damage coming, but he's so dead. Uh, we'll do this so we've got some leveling happening. Beautiful. Alright. Get some shields, new battle card, craft upgrades available, finally, so... Company brand, so we're boosted company brand, pets now have plus 15 health in battle, fantastic. Um, predictive brawling, so gain two combo at the beginning of your turn. That's beautiful. Uh, that's all we've got at the moment. Alright, pick a battle card. Wind up, increase the damage of this card by four until I want this bleed. Yeah, so let's let's go with the bleed here. Accept that card. Alright, we'll go to the map. Still living on 29 health. About to get to the boss battle for this day. That's fine. Can't remember if we can nah, we do have a fight no matter what, but we can talk our way through this guy, which I think we're gonna do. Keep that beast away from me. Alright, so I'm thinking that this turn we're just going with this, aren't we? Taking three, you've got four, yeah that's fine. So we'll do this. And we'll just threaten him. Beautiful. Alright, so... We do need to compliment him to get some influence. Uh, we could spend influence here, but spending influence isn't going to do anything. Oh, we need to actually defend this. That'll do it. We're going to do this just so we can buy time, though. And then gain three influence again. Uh, like, we're going to do this, not because we're buying time, like, to try and level the card. You'll find that I will do some moves that's all about just trying to level a particular card. So Drain Resolve, for example, will be one of these. Uh, which we will play. We'll play it first, stuff it. We'll duplicate one of our arguments. We'll gain some influence. And gain some composure. 
This is actually insane. <laughs> I thought these guys' arguments were supposed to be better at this difficulty. <laughs> you know, with the third difficulty. Um, so we're drawing three cards, right? And gaining two composure while we're doing it. Fantastic. Uh, we could low blow him. I mean, we've got lethal here, so we might as well. Low blow. Is there anything that we can try and level? We'll buy some time because we can. Um, and then we'll just attack. That's fine. Beautiful. Alright, interior drill. Now at the start of the turn, reduce the cost of random card in the out by two. Oh well that's not gonna do anything, is it? Unfortunately. I don't Oh, there could be one that it could hit. So that would be really useful. Drain resolve and solid point. So drain resolve. We can target argument loses four resolve, but we gain two res uh two resolve. I'm gonna go this way. Uh, so, when this card is drawn, deal three damage to a random um, enemy argument. When this card is drawn, uh, deal one damage to a random enemy argument and you gain two influence. Actually, that's good. We don't mind gaining influence. The more ways we get influence, the better. Because then we can spend influence. Draw two cards and upgrade them for this negotiation. Gain two influence and apply three composure to it. Is this just card draw? And card draw is good. Not that it's going to upgrade anything, but card draw is good. So, Alright, so we're through this. We get to find the ship now. And make your way onto the deck of a Rolart ship. Come across an Admiralty office, Officer <laughs> neck deep in debate with Jake Stevedoon. Uh, Steve Doll. A glint of a small bo ca box catches the eye. So that's the box that we need. Schedule on, the ship's in quarantine. I got all the ships to unload. What am I supposed to do with these Hessians? <laughs> that they should delay the auction because their goods are held up. You, let, the, uh, let more ships in. That's how exactly infection spreads. Too much in Rorus to follow. You figure this is a good time to break the tension. What are you doing here, Grifter? This is a secure area. So we can cut a side deal with Sand uh, Sandreno to get the package. We could convince Sandreno to end the quarantine. Which goes against orders. Attack the O'Malley, grab the package and make a run for it. Do we want to go against orders or not? Here's the thing, right? Like, we could easily beat this at 70, I think. My deck is doing really, really well. I'm going to end the quarantine. I don't think I've ever ended the quarantine before. I don't know what happens when you do. Reduces damage by 33%, so that's fine. Alright, so, want to play this this turn. And then play this. And then play this. Beautiful. Alright. Like, you look at how insane the defense of this deck gets when you've got two of these on. Although, we're not going to get any value from them this turn. Not targeting them, which is interesting. So, I think we want to target this. Insert two baffled cards into Sal's draw pile at the beginning of Sindreno's turn. I uh, really don't want you clogging up my deck. Let's get rid of this first. Just so it's not clogging up my deck. Alright, so hopefully we can get through this as well. Ah, oh, we didn't high roll at all. Hmm, alright, we're going to be taking damage. You can last that. You're probably lasting it. Oh, 
We'll apply it to here. Oh, that was fun. Alright, so we'll draw two, gain three composure, we'll spend two of our influence. We'll gain an influence here. Duplicate one of our arguments, because we can. Um, gain three smarts and vulnerability. We will compliment him. And we'll play this just because we need to level that card. <laughs> Look at this side of the board, it's actually ridiculous. Um, so we can continue getting influence if we want. three influence and apply three composure to it um, we might as well put this onto you and then start attacking oh we can draw a card as well oh well that would have been useful actually I wouldn't have mind having that card okay so I'm gonna attack that again so anything that I can level We'll draw two cards here. We'll hit that for four, so that's guaranteed dead now. You're dying at the moment. There's no real way I can protect you, so I think we just go on the offensive instead. This is fine. So we take one hit. That's fine. Anything that can be leveled, we'll do that now. Alright, so... All right, we'll just do this, if we can. Beautiful. Attack here. Attack here. Uh, we improvise, we just need an attack. That'll loot. Beautiful. All right, so we now get to discover what happens, what's being upgraded here. Duplicate the first two arguments you create every negotiation. <laughs> Alright, cool. Because I'm not getting enough arguments. I'm glad I'm duplicating more. <laughs> I'm going to duplicate a chosen argument. We don't want this. Infies a zero cost card from your discard. Game one influence. Evoke. Um, opponent's argument is removed. No, we just take the shields at the moment. We need more to draw. Alright, so what happens, oh, I should have listened to all this. <laughs> um, so you haven't even left, like, ship deck. In the meantime, Hessian ship comes and goes. When the quarantine's preserved, and so is the Sandy. It's disorderly, but with the auction in two days, I suppose it can't be helped. Fine cough, the quarantine is lifted. But if that relate ship drifts even an inch, I want to be told immediately. Sandrano so wanders off to sign documents. Thanks for that, Grifter. My jury is starting to ache from all that chin wagging. You almost make it um, when you hear gurgling from across the bow. The hulkling beast heaves itself into the water, shaking off droplets um, that sizzle on contact. Cough rushes to your side, looking for a suitable, uh, suitable slack jaw. My doc, no, no. I'll die first before you ruin me, you Rolokoman nightmare. All right, so here's the boss. Do we just get these guys to come and help if uh, we got this? Hmm. Ah, I wish this deck was as broken as my other deck. <laughs> okay, so we got four actions here. We can draw two cards and gain combo equal to the combined cost. 
We don't have any combo at the moment. Uh, we're probably playing this for defense. I'm going to draw two cards and see what happens. Who are we attacking here? I think we attack this because I haven't got the shield. Let's get rid of this first. Is that what we're doing? Anything with bleed. Ah, stop it. We'll attack here. I'm going to attack the bleed here, though. I'm not going to worry about defense too much. On the first turn. Although I need to. I've only got 29 health. I should have possibly looked at that. Take two damage if I... Oh. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> um. Um. Help. <laughs> Alright. Let me go up to this guy. Let's just get as much bleeding in as possible. We'll do this just so we can... Oh, I probably should have discarded the, um... The defense card, actually. So I'm taking six, I need to heal that if I can. Draw three cards, I'm just doing that. Gain two defense, apply four defense. So that's probably the combo I've got to go with here. I think we just target this guy still, so we'll go here. Apply four defense to you. And then we'll Haymaker. And we'll, oh I've always got four turns don't I? Destroy after you, so I feel like we hold on to that just in case. Just keep attacking. Be as aggressive in this as we can. A wound does not help. This is something I was after earlier. I'm going to use this on our finishing strike. Can I apply... Oh, I probably should have actually used this. Definitely should have used that. Yeah. The wound is annoying. Alright, so bleed is good now. I'm going to play this just to get more cards. So we've got nine we need to defend. That's two. Oh, this is bad. Take two damage if ignited. So I have to spend this, don't I? Because that's a problem. <laughs> Um, still taking seven. So that's taking three. So that's taking one damage. Alright. So we've nearly got rid of this thing. So what's that do? Impair. Attack damage by this target is reduced by 33%. That's annoying. Alright, so we'll start here. Game 4 defense. So that's dead now, so we don't have to attack that. We're going to have a defensive turn by the looks. 
So we'll apply defense here and here. We'll haymaker here. Start getting that down. Alright, so buy a couple of bleed so we can heal. We'll just do this so we'll get rid of both of these. Confirm. That's not good. Are you serious? Oh no! Get bleed damage onto you, and more bleed damage onto you. Draw a card. Just keep hitting it. Right, he's back to 15. I'm up to 30 now. My pet's taking 10. Hmm. We'll go here. We'll go here. And we'll just keep attacking it on this guy. I want to get him down as quickly as we can. Get some wound into him as well. Hope the best on my dog. Like my pet. Oh, he's impaired my pet. It's not great. Alright, we'll get rid of that. We'll... Use this, get some bleed. Fly 6 defense here. Draw a card. Fly a couple more bleed to this guy. So I'm fatigued, so I'm not getting any more XP. That is a really good one. Let's draw a card first, just so I know what I've got coming. Gain four defense. So this guy's dead now. But does he die with the bleed? Does that happen at the start? Beginning of that turn? Yeah, it does. So I don't have to worry about you. I don't really need the defense. But I what? That's that thing dead. Do you have to kill both at the same time, do you reckon? Probably. So rummage here. Get rid of that one. Tell you what, the whole rummage is helping us out a lot here. I want as much combo as I can. Unfortunate, no up. Well. Okay, well we'll just start attacking.
Once I bring back its... Ooh. I'm gonna get rid of this as quickly as possible, so it's attacking my pet. It's gained three power. Flyer Wound. Flyer Haymaker, that still doesn't get it. Wow. Fly this, so now that's got that killed straight away. Give six defense to my pet. So it's using defend again. Draw a card first, just see what I'm getting. Let me go with bleed combos. First. Yeah, I'm okay with this. That guy comes back again, it's gonna annoy me so much. Ah! There's a volatile spark. Just get bleed again. We'll hit bleed into this guy a couple of times. Then we'll attack into this guy. And give defense to our pet. Ah, so they're both just about dead now. We'll give you bleed. I mean, this guy's dead, so it's just this guy we need to concentrate on. So there's the wound. Um, let's improvise a card. Gain three combo, why not? So he's finally dead. So we don't need to do anything more. Alright, that battle took a while. Battle upgrades available. So, remove a random debuff. Uh, so, whenever we apply bleed, heal, ambush. So, it's automatically in the start. So, that's what we get. A, what we get out of that? That's not a bad, um, bad upgrade, to be honest. Whenever you expend a card, draw one. That could be good. Draw one card, choose a card from your hand to place on top of the draw pile. All right, why not? We'll grab that one. Pick a battle card, double the panic meter on all fighters. Apply stun. This is actually really good. Stunning is amazing. Kidney shot is like a broken card. It's like single-handedly won one of my runs later. I'd hate to say it, but that switch had a point. Imagine that thing running loose in Murder Bay. Speaking of, you're not supposed to be here, Hunter. What is it that you wanted? Oh, uh, just that package there. That all? Here, take it. You better push off before the reinforcements arrive. Good idea. See you around. Hopefully wart free. Well, the boss battles are certainly starting to uh, increase in difficulty. But I walked out with more health than I started, so... I'm just having a look here. Um, what were you again? So we could remove a battle card, we could look to buy cards. Apply to bleed. Mm. I feel like, to be honest... I want to get more graph slots because I know that there's going to be more opportunity for graph slots. So let's go and get a negotiation graph slot and a battle graph slot. Just because we're done with the fighting for one day. So this is the time to do it. Because we'll have all of our health back. Alright, so we'll give fish the package and then we'll go to rest in the back. Bed calls for me, go to sleep. And that is the end of day three. 
I think our resolve deck is really coming along nicely. So we've got two new people that loved us. We made two more enemies that we've got to try and find and kill. We have killed a ridiculous amount of people in this run. Uh, but yeah, that is day three done with. So negotiation deck, I think, is like OP. The only thing is, though, to win this game, your battle deck is like needs to carry you through. So we've got to do some work with the battle deck. And we've got really one day to get it done because then we're into day five, which is the big boss. So... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, be sure to join us uh, for the next one if you did. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and until then, I'll catch you later.